Hey guys, Barrett here at SoundPure, coming at you today with another one of the gear tips we've been doing. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about torrefaction, um, or baking of the top. There are a number of different terms for it. Some of you may already be familiar with it. It's been popular, I think, for a while now in the boutique guitar world. Basically, it's a process that many manufacturers do where they will uh, bake or cook, torrefy, uh, sounds a little more official, doesn't it? The tops, uh, most often on guitars. Um, it's often done with stiffer species of spruce like Adirondack, but it's certainly not limited to that. You might have noticed torrified Sitka tops. Um, you might also have noticed torrified necks, torrified back and sides. Um, builders are really exploring to see the, the possibilities with this process. What it is basically, and there's some differences in the way different manufacturers will do it, and they can be kind of secretive about what those uh, differences are, but basically uh, it's a process where you bake or cook the wood in a kind of oven or uh, kiln. So the idea there is to cook out um, as much of the kind of uh, oils and other organic compounds that are in the wood, uh, get as much of that out of there as possible without compromising or altering the cellular structure of the wood itself. Um, this is to you know, effectively try to chemically age the guitar or replicate what will naturally happen to the wood over time as those organic compounds break down, leaving just the cell structure behind. Um, you may notice on these are both guitars that are a great example of this. These are two generation guitars from Bourgeois, fantastic instruments. Both have torrified Sitka tops. Uh, you may notice even from, from where they are here, they've got that kind of golden, um, roasty kind of hue to them that an old top on a guitar will have. If you've seen pre-war Martins, um, whether Adirondack or Sitka Spruce, they've got this beautiful gold, golden color. Um, and of course the sound too is what we're going for, not just the look, it's a nice benefit. But really the idea here is to uh, put the, the materials of the guitar through a process such that when you receive the guitar new, it's already going to be sounding more like an older instrument right out of the case. Uh, a fuller tone, a richer dynamic range, more body, more volume, um, and physically speaking, uh, a top that's a bit lighter and is able to flex more easily than a non-torrified top. I find that you can certainly hear the difference. You can really hear the difference if you go with something like a torrified top and then start to do other little sort of pre-war design features like animal protein glue, Adirondack bracing, cut through saddle. Uh, it's one of these features that when done in conjunction with some other things can really transform the sound of, of the guitar. It's something that um, people have asked about in terms of, well, you know, we can torrefy it now, but is there any risk in going with a torrefied top as opposed to just waiting for the guitar to naturally age out? Not that I'm aware of and not that I've heard in, in speaking with Dana Bourgeois and uh, several other of these builders that are, that are doing this process. Um, there's no reason to be worried structurally about the instrument or about anything uh, breaking or rupturing or coming apart if you've got a torrefied top guitar. Um, you can also rest assured that like an untorrified top, it's just going to continue to break in and sound better and better with time. It just kind of gives you a head start on that, both in looks and in sound. Again, can't emphasize that enough. It does change the sound of the guitar. Uh, we've got several instruments in stock that have torrified tops, back and sides, different things. I encourage you to check those out. And in general, whenever you see that description in one of our listings, um, take a listen to that clip and I think you'll hear that even on new guitars, they're already sounding older and wiser um, than they will come to be. So I hope that's been a little helpful, once again, talking about torrefaction. Uh, if you have any questions on how that process uh, is done among the different manufacturers that we carry, any other questions about some of the design features that kind of complement the torrefaction process, I'd be more than happy to chat with you about that. But once again, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Barrett in the guitar department at SoundPure. Take care.